other than that, it's nose to the grindstone doing the same thing over and over and over again. Purposefully hypnotizing people. You know, I, I've been out there, and uh, the rest of the world has some pretty dismal ideas about you Americans. I say you Americans because I'm not one anymore. Thank goodness. I can show you how to do that, too. But uh, these guys think that you're blithering idiots. They think that Americans are just stupid. We're not stupid. We're hypnotized. That's why we can't see the nose on our face. That's why most of the people that could do something different about it aren't standing up to Bush and Cheney and Rumsfeld and all that because of the hypnotism. It's so, not just uh, Americans. What's that? It's not just Americans. It's not just Americans, but I'm talking to you guys right now. <laughs> it, it, this system is going on everywhere. In nature, this doesn't happen. In nature, you have to handle different stuff happening all the time. Because nature doesn't run on a regular schedule. It doesn't do things in a repetitive, repetitive, repetitive manner. Constantly throws you curves. Now, you guys have heard as above, so below, right? Mm -hmm. You believe it? Yeah. yeah. Well then, don't you know that that also means so below as above? It ain't a one-way street. So there are certain physical <laughs> principles that we can look at that then translate into higher aspects. Like this, for instance. This is my best attempt at a gyroscope. A gyroscope is a balanced mass around an acknowledged center. Here's a balanced mass, the whole enchilada, around a center. Now, we, each of us, have a center, and that center is your intuition. Do you go with that? Yes. Your intuition is your center. Now, the way a gyroscope works <laughs> is you move it, the faster, as a matter of fact, the faster you move it, the more change you introduce to this balanced mass, the more stable the whole thing gets. This is wonderful. We have a constant acceleration of change as our future. Everything is going to be changing faster and faster and faster. What that means is that as a being, as long as you are centered, you're going to be getting more and more stable. It's already happening. More and more people are learning that their intuition is the tool to use to survive. They're getting more certain about that. Have you heard about the elephants in the, in the Tasami? Right? All the animals made it out of there. Their intuition brought them along. Did you hear about the stories about in the Midwest, they just had 500 tornadoes this last year. And there were lots and lots of stories of miracle survival. And it was always the bottom line, the, the, the same word and the same uh, story was intention, or intuition, or just knowing what to do, or what not to do. This is getting more and more public, that intuition is the way through. And as more and more and more changes <coughs> in your in your consciousness of 3D, this is all of this is your consciousness over here of your experience in 3D. The faster and faster it changes, the more and more you're noticing. So the more and more stable or centered you become. Now, that's how it would naturally go. What happens if you do this? Ah, 
let's take a chunk out of the integrity of the gyroscope. And this, now we're getting a look at what's going on and why it seems so difficult. You take a chunk out of this, and now let's spin it and see what happens. Mm. It's going to break this axle right off. Without the integrity, this centering doesn't occur. You know some people who don't believe in their intuition? <laughs> don't even think it's there? You know those people very good? Because I'll bet you, you look into their lives and there's going to be some integrity issues. What happens, see, is as soon as you step out of your own integrity, your mind steps in with all the reasons that you're not in your integrity. All the excuses. And it just keeps coming. 24 per second. When I'm talking about personal integrity, I mean following your heart. That's your integrity. Following your heart. And people have all sorts of reasons for not doing that, don't they? And the people with the most reasons have the less tr trust in their intuition. Have you seen that? They don't believe it's there, they don't trust it's there. Because the mind has stepped in between them and their intuition. I know people who are working at jobs that know that the job is killing them <coughs> and their relationships and they keep going because they have to pay the bills you see there is two brands of integrity there's two brands there's personal integrity which is wholeness and forthrightness and then there's institutional integrity Institutional integrity, or power integrity, is can you keep a secret? That's their integrity. Can you hold a secret? If you can, you're an honorable man. And if you can't, you're not going to go any higher. That's the way that works. So power has had its own brand of integrity, but it hasn't been a wholeness. There have been secrets. There have been holes in this in this balanced mass. And what we're seeing now, as things speed up, as circumstances come faster and faster, we're seeing corporations, religions, relationships of all kinds flying apart for the lack of integrity. That's what's coming forward. That's what we're like we said before. Integrity and ethics is the issue. And it's going to become more and more so from here on forward. Now, <clears throat> there is no thing to do about this. There's no doing here. There's not really any having here either. There is being. And that's where we're headed back back to being. And I wanted to show you this next this next chart here about how we manifest ourselves into new states of being or new states of, of havingness and doing. And it's a regular formula that we can follow. I'm going to go through this again, and we'll do a little bit more detail to it. Attention. These are the foundations of manifestation in the third dimension. First of all, attention. Showing up. Registering, witnessing what's going on. It's not easy to do this. Have you ever sat down in front of somebody, even somebody you like, and just try to pay attention, just look at them in the eyes? 